So identifying aquatic plants can be quite difficult. A lot of people get nervous when they get across them. People haven't spent much time looking at plants and looking at different parts. So today I'm going to try to show you guys different components you can look at on plants and to help you ID them or to send them off to an extension specialist or a regional biologist so they can help you in assisting and figuring out what these plants are for you. So over here I have a range of different plants. They range from rushes, sedges, and even just broadleaf plants. So the first thing that we kind of look at is where is the plant growing? Is it growing emergent, like against the shoreline or breaking through the water? Is it submerged where the roots are still in the soil or the water bank and growing under the water surface? Or is it truly floating to where the roots are hanging from the surface of the water and not penetrating the soil below? So once you have that, you can kind of go on and look at the leaf structure and arrangement. A lot of these plants will have different kind of leaves, whether they're growing at different nodes or just a straight up stalk. And you can look at different arrangements such as alternate, opposite, and whorl. So opposites when they're growing at the same node on the same part, whorl they'll be growing around the stem in a circle, and then alternate will be switching back and forth on different sides. So here we have different things such as different rushes, which are typically round, not to be confused with sedges, which is typically done sedges have edges. But both of these things are not truly true. Some sedges can be round and some rushes could have edges. However, the most helpful piece anyone can do to identify plants is looking at a seed head, the flowers, or the inflorescence. So an inflorescence is a cluster of flowers found typically on the stalk of a plant, such as on this rush, or even on this sedge. Also different other kind of leaf structures we have is kind of like the Sagittaria, which is a common aerial head. It's known by a distinct two flaps coming down. And then we also have some more grass-like plants. If you notice on this, there's different nodes, which are the big suspended areas, and a helpful place to identify these kinds of plants is to notice if the leaf is attached directly to a node or if it has a sheath coming off of it instead. So a key component to why we need to identify plants is when we treat them in uh, ponds or small lakes, impoundments and such, that different herbicides affect different ones more effectively. So whether they're broadleaf or just submerged in the water, we have to use a different herbicide to effectively kill it, control it, or manage them. Now, if you're unsure of a plant and you need to store it for later on use to be sent on to a biologist, you can attach, put them in a Ziploc bag with a wet paper towel in it and try to get just the paper towel damp, store as much of the plant as you can. We're talking about as much as the roots, the stem. If you can get a flower inflorescence, that's very helpful. And just store it in a damp bag, make sure, a, da a damp paper towel in a bag and try not to seal the bag all the way, just the majority of the way so that the plant can still breathe and live for a little while longer.